welcome you all for the wireless communication lecture module in this session we are going to discuss about the rake receiver okay so normally reflection refraction and diffraction the components of the signal will travel at a different path and reach the destination at a different time delays okay so the received signal will vary have a different amplitude a different phase as well as a different time delays this effect is called as the multipath effect so due to that reflection refraction and diffraction the signal components will travel at a diff takes a different path and reach the destination at a different time interval the received signal will vary in a amplitude phase as well as a time delays okay so here the rake receiver is used to counter attack this multipath effect it is used to counteract the multipath effect rake receiver combines all the signals with the help of a correlator normally the rake receiver has a multiple receiving elements called as a correlators or these are generally denoted as fingers so for example look at the diagram here this is the uh, rake receiver which has a three core m correlators okay so these m correlators are called the m fingers of the rake receiver so each of these correlator will receive the time shifted version of the signal okay so then the received signal will phase shifted and time delayed okay so after the providing phase shifting and time delaying okay the signal will gets summed up okay and finally with the help of an integrator and the decision making devices okay then the signal is demodulated and detected so this is the concept of rake receiver so it receives multiple copies of the signal so those each of the received copy is provided with the help of one correlator normally this is for, uh, called as fingers of rake receiver so these correlators will provide a uh, phase shift as plus well time delay okay after providing the phase shift as time delay the signals will get added up and finally with the help of integrator and decision making device they are going to demodulate the devices so this concept is called as a rake receiver normally the rake receiver is used in a uh, cdma systems so in a cdma system the multiple component delayed in time you know that is more than one chip duration more than one chip duration. because of it is more than one chip uh, chip duration these are appeared as a uncorrelated noise at the receiving end in a cdma system so normally to counter attack this uncorrelated signal at its uh, receiving end cdma systems will use as the uh, rake receiver the rake receiver provides the uh, it used to combine the delayed version of the signal so that it can able to increase the snr of the received signal so this is the application of the rake receiver thank you